What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Time to continue is now. So, we are tackling Liurnia this stream. Uh, the biggest change, we have had Tox respec. Y'all ready to see what he looks like now? Completely different. Uh, I'm at Academy Gate Town. Do you want to put your sign down there? Uh, yeah. Do you have the, right the other password? The to Toxic Cow? Yeah. It's two C's, right? Yeah, two so C's. There we go. So we've had Tox respec. Get ready. Y'all are about to see the big reveal. The big reveal is happening. Let me make sure this isn't laggy before we like really get started. No, I think it's working. Looks like it's running smooth on my side. Give me, uh, like, 20 seconds. I don't actually have Gate Town yet. <clears throat> Where the fuck is it? Waiting for the sign. It's down. We're refreshing Something for made. the sign. Where's the other guy? We're getting him. We're getting him. I am the other guy. Y'all ready? There he is. I'm beautiful. We've made him into a strength boy. No more blood flame spammy. No, now he's going to smash. He will now smash oh. things. Smack. Smack. Oh, he's got big smacks Smack. now. So Smack. This, this should make for a slightly more curated experience. Um, so let's just, I already got the key. Ooh, and we're already getting invaded. Well, I don't know where he's at. Let's just, hang on, is that him behind us? No. Oh, nope, he already returned to his world. Damn, that was fast. Other dude does not have a YouTube channel. I have told him to make a YouTube channel. And he goes, uh, oh. <laughs> I make that exact noise, yeah. <laughs> Lost weight. I haven't lost any weight. I've gained weight. How to offend someone that's trying to power lift? <laughs> you look like you've lost weight. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. There's that seed. Is the how do you I can't remember where you go to start climbing up this thing? Is it is it this way? Is it around to the right? Uh, this is the big church that you need a horse to get <clears> on, right? <throat> I am cultivating mass. I think we start right here. Yeah, this is it. There we go. Cool that that gets the red lighting. I oh, know that invader. They they came in and then they left immediately. Yeah. Oh god. No, 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 no! Oh, 
big flame here is dead. Yeah, I think we're good. Invader saw he would be on stream was immediately self-conscious. <laughs> I don't think that you can go here with me. We're about to find out. No, I have to send you. And now I'm through. What's the dual weapon? These are the regalia. Bickweight. Alright, toss my sign down at a uh, main academy gate. As soon as the load screen is done. There we go. Might be able to get a level real fast. Alright, sign's down. Oh, I don't need my endurance up. Do I have a rune arc? I do. Mm, my game just might have crashed. Shit. I think it did. That's annoying. Uh, I'll get you back. Let me know when you're up and running. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I should only take about 30 seconds so long as it actually quits out. Nope. These swords have the standard, uh, these have the standard longsword, dual longsword moveset. Signs back down. There is. Let's go fight some mages. Murder. Well, the bots will the bots will show up in subscriber only mode. All the streams I do are in subscriber only mode. You gotta remember, subscriber mode isn't paid. Member only mode is where we go when we really want to stop bots. Subscriber only mode is just because, to be honest, I don't care to to listen to somebody that doesn't even follow the channel show up and try to tell me that how I'm playing is wrong or. Their opinion matters, and it's just, I don't care. I don't care. I think a better way to think of it is... If I got a million subscribers, I'd rather read and interact... Am already, Jesus Christ. ...with those people in chat than random people I've never fucking seen before who probably are gonna have a shitty opinion. So subscriber only mode, it just prioritizes my love for all of you. Wrong spot to try and cast that spell at him. 
Oh, I need the longer sword. Actually, they, they, uh, <clears throat> there's a mod in development right now. We, we're not going to use it, unfortunately, but it's a, <clears throat> it's a true co-op mod. So the idea is we could fast travel together. <clears throat> I could bring Tox to... Uh, I could bring round him to, like, table. round table. Um, all that stuff. But the problem is because it is a mod, you have to be off the matchmaking servers to use it. So... While it would be a true level one from the start co-op playthrough, we wouldn't be able to fight invaders at all, which... Yeah. Kind of sucks. Yeah. I think for like, uh, you know, like if you just want to play the game with your buddy and don't want to be interrupted by invaders, it's great. But for what I was looking to do, I mean, murdering invaders, that's part of the fun for me. Yeah. I think that we're good enough at the game that uh, just a pure PvE run wouldn't exactly be challenging. It wouldn't. It would just obliterate it all. And then Ham would be lonely. It wouldn't have anything to do. Yeah. He would have to watch instead of actually... I know. Playing. He'd have to just sit, sit bored in the comments. Wouldn't be able to engage with us. Poor guy. <laughs> I like that that gets the red lightning a lot. Yeah. Alright, these things are annoying as hell. I have a solution. Did the note with. We got an invader coming in. Oh, just ham. Ham again. Jeez. Nope. Let's get on the elevator. Yeah. Ham. Bye, Ham. I Ham. Wait, 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 don't get off. Don't get off. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's below us. <laughs> oh, do you see the dog what crawling the across the screen? What is that dog doing? What? Yeah, I saw that. free flask from that, so. There was another invader, too. I wonder if he's coming, or what? Uh, don't know. I'm gonna go check the elevator. Yep, he is. Why are you running? <laughs> Stop <laughs> with your you running! running? Yeah. 
He's sleepy time. He's sleepy man. We got the we got the pot. No, but let's pull back because we got the pot. Pull all the way back. Yeah. In here. I don't think the pot can go through the door. Possibly not. I think there's gonna be some cross invader hits. Uh, I could probably pop one of them here. Oh! Some invader on invader hate crimes happening here. Mage seems like the better of the two. See, we wouldn't have fun encounters like that if I was using the mod. True. Don't know. Invaders really spice the co-op up. The yeah, I think really so too. The coop play up. Nice work, cowboy and docs. I remember what's back here, isn't it? Uh, uh it's the magic talisman. Oh, it's comet, comet, and uh, stone sword key. Huh? Another invader. The ladder we get to the uh, the magic talisman. Look into my guh. What's it supposed to be? Look into my. What could be censored there? Maybe it's a genus, like his penis, but it's genus. There's a there's a co-op mod they're working on. How do you even connect? Is it like gonna be Hamachi or something? It's something like I think it's peer to peer or I don't know exactly. But have it like its own client. Yeah. I guess it would probably be a double modified client, so you'd like only connect with other people to double to invaders. Woo! 
Damn, oh. he caught his fellow invader in the crossfire. Man, these things are... I feel bad for this guy, because you can tell he wants parries. But instead he's against jumping attack short swords and a colossal. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, fuck, I can't fucking get this. No, got, uh, got no, you cannot. Here. I think that'll be Yes, we are undefeated versus... It. Well, actually, we, we died to an invader when we were taking the screenshot for the thumbnail. That doesn't count. I wasn't warmed up, and that was my first fight of the day. And also, that was yesterday, so... Big sword! Oh my god, dude. That thing chunks. Yes, it does. Stop that. Stop this. Yeah. Big sword! Nice. Wait till I get the big version of that. Yeah, that's gonna, gonna do some damage. It's, it's actually like, after the buff, it's a really good boss killing tool. So if you're fighting anything that has, like, even a brief moment of standing still, you're gonna fucking clap. Reds. Yeah, just... Let me, um, I'm gonna run, uh, run up and grab the Radigan icon real fast, since that's just, like, around the corner and up a ladder. Yeah. Uh, which one is that? That's Debate Parlor? Yeah. That or Schoolhouse? Uh, yeah, okay, Debate Parlor. All right, I'll put it uh, top of the stairs just after debate parlor. Yes, I have a very high distaste for those wolves. They're pretty fucking annoying. Oh, I got an invader. We had to take the tongue off. Ew, new. Or what's over here? Crystal butts. Okay, um... Get down. <clears throat> You'd be able to jump off the balcony and not take damage if you land back in the debate parlor. Thanks. I'm gonna pick you up now. Okay. Sign should be right in between those open gates. Uh, you have to put it, um, you have to put it, um, into, like, the actual hallway that's past the bonfire. It, you walked past it, it's top of the stairs. Oh, I see it. Fuck. Giant hunt. Why are you disparaging the good name of Let Me Solo Her? Oh, you big fucking pussy. I don't think I need anything on the rooftops. There's an Azure staff. Or, uh, the Lusat staff is crossbow? that way. The moon crossbow? Yeah, I wouldn't use that.
carry this moon room. <laughs> kind of sucks that knocks him back. I actually get the swipe. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's go disable the ball. Okay. It's this way. Mm. Oh yeah, it is. I was thinking on the shortcut. No, yeah, we're, we're going to be getting a Moraos Executioner, possibly this episode. But until then, the Regalios will work just fine. No, connection error. I think that's it. Boom, boom, boom. I think that's all done. You just want to put it uh, right at the boss room? Yeah. Same well, spot that you put yours. Actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe back at the debate parlor, because I need... um. I could get flasks and shit. Oh, you want a full reset? All right. What's the best starting class for a dex bleed build? <sighs> Probably samurai. I'm gonna get my endurance. Almost, almost got it to 20. All right, the sign's down, same spot. Yeah, this area, it reminds me a bit of uh, the archives. So I think that's why you're getting the, I think that's where you're getting the Dark Souls 3 vibes from. Unfortunately, there's no cum pools that you can stick your head in. Unlucky. Dark Souls 1 Academy? Um, yes, but I, honestly, I think the Dark Souls 1 Academy is too bright. It's very, like, I don't know, Dark Souls 3, I remember it being, like, grainy. Actually, the one in Demon Souls, I also remember being a bit grainier, but the Academy in Dark Souls, I don't know, I have memories of, like, the color scheme being much lighter. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Go beat her ass. I'm not worried about smithing stones. I mean, because I'm using Sombering. And I can buy the rest of those from EG. This is a 3% regular, Nick. We are in the process of getting down to zero. Here. Uh, you can always tell because of the song. Oh yeah, I guess you can. I never noticed that part. Oh, that wasn't number three. Oh, that, yeah, that was three. Maybe it's four now. Four in co-op, maybe. I don't know. Gotta push it to the limit.
Big spin it. Oh, she dodged my spinny to win him. I don't know why they added the knockdown to the full charge. Yeah, it kind of makes it not good. Who's the moon going at? You. Oh, yeah. Bullying. She don't got poise. When I hit her, it's gonna make some noise. Gonna smack Renala in her coochie. Which one is that? Oh, the knight. Ow! I don't. What's that spell? We don't have that spell. Uh, like, we do. We don't have that. Shock and blast. No, the the multiple, uh, the mini. It's like a crystal carrying barrage. No. I can't carry in retaliation. This shit. I'm out of a <laughs> I went to it, I was out of juice. <laughs> went for the spin, but there was no juice. Oh, you have no FP. Well, that, yeah, that would explain it. Yeah. Manala is actually the only primary boss that's not considered a demigod. It's true. Do we want to go clap some dragons and then head up into Altus? Or go straight to Altus? I don't know. If we go to Altus. We could. Kitty flee, my sweet hey, kitty. What's up? Come we go to Altus. I could get my the, sword. Uh, shaded <sighs> castle. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Getting my sword would be nice. I don't let's know. Go, let's, uh, let's, let's pull chat. We'll pull chat. Chat, what do you think? What is the next route? Where do we go next? Altus, or go fight the duo, or kill a few dragons and then one of the two? Yeah, because either the, the next, the two obvious choices are either we make our way up, or we make our way to Kaled, and do some stuff in Lower Kaled, or we punch up into Altus, and in particular we go up to the Shaded Castle and get the sword first. Mm. Sword is a pretty big upgrade. You have the stats to wield it, though. I can respect to have those stats. Oh, true, you could. I literally picked this class to use that sword. Gelmir for sword, then Kaled. The poll is looking pretty sided with folks in favor of Gelmir first. Let's go do Gilmere. Oh, God, the kid, he wants all the pets. He says, I need pets right now, Diddy. Yeah, why don't you come up to my lap? Yeah. Pick class for sword. I did. I did. Uh, do we want to... You want to meet outside Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel and make our way over to... Uh, just take the secret route up? Um... We well, there's have to. there's a church that we should grab. Well, that would be on the we way. Get, that would be yeah, on the way. Yeah, Church of Inhibition. Uh, just go Academy Main Gate and then walk out the Northern Gate, so you end up on the uh, East Lucaria. Oh yeah. Gate. Well, is that, do we want to go? Let me you there. there. Well, I mean, there's there's two two flask upgrades there. Well, there's yeah, there's, there's Church the, of Inhibition and then there's Bellum, and they're both. Well, Bellum, there. Bellum, I can just grab immediately. Um, True. Inhibition, though, we need to, like, go around and frenzy eye and... It'll be fun. Uh, Come on, let's do it. All right, all right. Can we even get invaded with Vike over there? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can get invaded in the, uh, snow area when the... Hang on, how do you, how do you cross, how do you cross this bridge? 
You go to the blue seal and you just activate it. Where? What blue seal? I don't even see it. Back at the main gate. Like, at the bonfire. You just turn around and you touch the blue floating seal. Oh, I had to run down to grab the... I forgot about the golden sea that's there. Yeah, that's good to grab. You access the teleporter and just takes you through. If Marius had bleed build, it would be insane. You wouldn't be able to... There would probably be no better weapon than that. It would be like a fucking instant bleed proc if you get hit by the first part. Yeah. Cause that charge up is huge. So am I just picking you up at... Well, am I picking you up at Bellum? Uh, the bonfire just outside the gate to your left. Oh, the sign's I'm, down there. I'm at that one. Get prelate hammer. I move it a little away. Oh, I have it already. Okay. Oh yes, Harley Cat likes the pets. Ooh. I want pets right now. I don't care that it's springtime. I want my pets. I will have them. Well, the whole point of having extra seeds is because it's an open world game. So there's no guarantee that everyone is going to get every seed. It's depending on the route you could take, you know, that's, that's the factor. There's actually, like, I think 10 extra seeds in the course of the game when you consider, like, seed beasts and whatnot. Well, you're gonna kill the, uh, Night Cavalry. Oh, it's gonna boot you. It would. But it does get the Halberd, which is sexy. And there's also extra souls. Ow. You're moving too much. This man just knocked down a whole tree? I do wish we had the the briar move set on uh on one of the swords, the actual dancing blade. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Did it not boot you? Oh, there we go. No, it did. Uh, I'll just meet you at Bellum, I guess. I was trying to mount the horse and it's not letting me. I'm probably getting invaded. Yeah. Else run. Signs down at Bellum Church. I'm almost there. Grab the seed. It's here. What's happening here? You may need to turn the tongue off to pull me. Like there's an invader trying to come in because I can't rest. Yeah. I think it's that dude from before, but he fixed his name. Hmm. I'm gonna run down to the merchant, buy his thing. Oh, hey, he's here. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a stream sniper. It's, it's, you know, it's people from stream that are invading in. It's just, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a co-op run. 
He may or may not have eaten America's weapon art. We eaten a what? He ate the America's hammer weapon art. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Okay, so up and around. So we gotta hit that point. Are you able to see my marks? No. Right. Well, we're just heading in this general direction. Trying to pilot a non-sword spell type mage. I remember why I failed magic school. Non-sword spell type mage? I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Like, you're, you're trying to make like a pure mage? Just a spellcaster? How hard is it doing everything without torrent? Well, you're getting a pretty good visual descriptor right now with these uh, catapults that are just cleaning our ass. As long as we hug this left side, we might be all right. Mm, it's until we get to the big flaming thing up ahead. I just run by that. Time. A pure mage is zero use of the sword sorceries. Are you okay with having a like weapon though, or are you like strictly only spells? Because if you're okay with the weapon, I mean, just watch the watch the mage build that I have on the channel, in the like the stream. I think I played it in the last stream. The last PvP stream I did, I used it a few times. All you would do is just take those sword sorceries off. And then you use the Clayman's Harpoon. We all know Elden Ring will be winning multiple Game of the Year awards. What is the next game announced that you're looking forward to? Uh, it's already on the channel. It's called Salt and Sacrifice. It is the sequel to Salt and Sanctuary, which is a 2D love letter to Dark Souls. So, basically, imagine Dark Souls and a Metroidvania had a baby. It's fantastic. Has class diversity, spells, weapons, parries, equipment weight, stamina system, all that shit. Every, everything that you like about the combat of Dark Souls is in Salt and Sanctuary in 2D form. It is truly a fantastic game. We're safe here? No, we're not. Oh, uh, we gotta get all the way to the cliff. We're safe where I'm at. Oh, well, I'm gonna get Magnus procked. Owie! Are we trying to kill the thingy? I mean, we should, shouldn't we? Probably. Be the smart thing to do anyway. If you're not into side scrollers, then you know what can you do? But I personally am very excited to finally start sharing it with y'all. I could actually be streaming it, but since the game fully launches next week, I don't want to do too much of it. I'm gonna limit it to just like the couple episodes a day I have right now, and then uh, when the game is fully released, I plan on doing another run, but that'll have like co-op and PvP and all that good shit in it. I'll do that on stream. Is a mage any good in the original? Uh, I've heard... So, the thing with a mage in Salt and Sanctuary is... It can be really strong, but you don't get, like, a lot of the cool spells until later. Like, even your early basic spells aren't that strong. And if I remember, I think a lot of them are attached to specific covenants. So, like, to really have a, a clean run... 
there's a lot of like there's a lot of bullshit you got to go through to have a good mage run in it what i like a lot about this one is the so that one of the big biggest differences i mean i can freely talk about it now one of the biggest differences in salt and sacrifice compared to sanctuary is the inclusion of the mages so your character is what's known as a marked inquisitor the basic idea is you you dance the precipice of death um kind of like your body's in a soul realm type deal and your job is to hunt mages now the basic just from from what i've gotten of the story and i'm not done the game so this is just like this is my current understanding um but basically after time humanity stopped uh praising the gods for the most part and as as the gods stopped getting praised they became angry and certain people would like really like there were certain people that were like super super erect for those gods and those people were willing to like sacrifice their entire being for the god and they essentially became mages which is like a corrupted version of themselves where they are completely in tune with a specific element poison wind water fire whatever the case may be um these mages are all over the game and you can fight them and so the first time you kill a mage you'll see what kind of loot that mage has um in some cases it's going to be new staves that will allow you is access to spells you're any good just yes, kill them for the first time um in some cases it'll be great swords sometimes it's armor you know it's all, all sorts of shit from them like tons and tons of stuff but so getting access to new spells or new weapons and whatnot you can really kit your guy out with some cool shit by killing these mages early on and then as you continue to play and you fight more mages and higher tier mages you keep getting upgrade mats so like if you find something like let's say for a perfect example i have like a fire staff and one of the spells for it is this like slow moving it's like four fireballs that just slowly rotates across the screen and so I've been really cheeky with that. One of the things I've done is I'll I'll throw that at a boss. Like, I'll get all the way to the left side of the screen, throw it at a boss, and then roll through them, and then start running. Nice job, Tox. <laughs> and uh, what'll happen is the boss will slowly chase after me, and the whole time that fireball is just, like, rolling with him, just cooking his ass. I like that a lot. And I got that from the, the fire mage at the start. Now, I need twin ember spurs or whatever to upgrade it. But as I continue into the later game, you know, lightning is a type of fire. So fighting the lightning mage, there's a chance I can get those twin ember spears. Um, I think I think we're done here. Is there anything else we need to do? Uh, no, like it's just up here for yeah, bonfire just, 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 and the upgrade mat, and then we just go... Yeah, just finger you out of here. But so as I continue to play, I can keep upgrading that staff, which is great because it means, you know, something that I got at the start that I like is still going to be viable as I'm going to move away towards the end. Um, another thing that I like is in Salt and Sacrifice, the way the upgrade tree works is like as a mage initially, so as a mage we have, we have three basic things. We have staves, we have forbidden runes, and then we have scepters. Your scepters are your main ranged option. The same as how like a ranger would use a bow, a mage would use a scepter. You're just like, I think it's called scepter, but you're just like firing out a, a, uh, blast of energy that is associated with that. So if it's a regular one, you're just shooting out some arcane shit. If it's a fire scepter, you're shooting out some fire shit. Now then your staves, your staves are your actual casting tools. Now each stave will have uh, different runes on it, different forbidden runes. But the thing is, you need to pick up, you need to unlock forbidden runes in the tree to use those spells. Otherwise, the stave is just going to have access to, like, the basic spell. And, of course, it's element. What I like is it's like a staff and a sword. So you get, like, a, a staff and a, and a short sword. But anyway, there's there's a lot of depth to the combat, and it's, it's really fucking fun. I might even... I know I got PvP on deck for tomorrow, but part of me is kind of like, maybe I should start a second run. I don't know. Uh, are we meeting at Bellum and then working our way down? Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. Then we can go up the, uh... Yeah, you can play you can play the second game without having touched Salt and Sanctuary. Well, do we need to uh do we need to talk to Ronnie before we go to Altus? No, I'm not worried about it. Mm. 
Yeah, frenzied snipe is in that area, but I'm I'm not playing. I'm not putting anything in faith. So, you know, frenzy snipe ain't gonna do nothing for me. If I do anything, it would be uh, maybe like dragon breaths a little bit later, and then even then that would be like the the thirteen faith or whatever that's required. Thirteen faith, seventeen arcane or whatever. Yeah. What's the biggest improvements between the first and second salt? Um, from what I've played so far. I, the, the introduction of the mages, I think, is one of the best, because you can, even in the first zone, in the first zone, I have found a fire mage, a ice mage, a, oh, here, let me just, let me check my episodes, and I can tell you what they, what they all are. Uh, let me see what I have fought. In the first zone, I have fought a pyromancer, a cryomancer, a hydromancer, an electromancer, a poison mancer, and I think that's it. I know I fought a aeromancer in an upcoming zone, like a wind mage. Um, but I mean, it's so fucking cool. Like, perfect example is you know I'm I'm hunting down every mage because I want their staffs and I want their spells. But the water mage didn't have a staff. What he did have was a big fucking zug zug hammer. So if you're playing strength build. You kill the Hydromancer and you get access to like tier 3 heavy armor and like a tier 4 fucking great hammer right off the kick. Now obviously you need to kill his ass enough to where you get the match you need to uh, trade in for this equipment, but I love that. I absolutely love that there are mages that we can- I love that there are elite boss-esque enemies that we can continue to hunt and farm them to get their gear. And that gear can be upgraded going all the way up into endgame. I really like that. Versus like in the original, which is closer to, to Dark Souls in the sense that, you know, your coolest weapons, they're, they're, you're not going to find your coolest weapons until late game, final boss, shit like that. It's going to take a long time. And I mean, there's still cool weapons you'll get from bosses and whatnot, I'm sure. But the introduction of the, the shit from mages... Yeah, exactly. It's almost like a Monster Hunter flavor type thing. And y'all know that I love Monster Hunter, so I'm all about that. Being able to farm something and get its gear, and then being able to progressively upgrade that gear more and more. Um, other changes... We have a central hub now, which I like a lot, because instead of having to go all over the map, there's one place that we go, and that, that has the blacksmith, that's where we can trade in these mats. That's where uh, we can upgrade our flasks or our blue flasks or our ranged weaponry. There's invasions now. Like, there's all kinds of good shit. It's honestly, like, you should, if you like Metroidvanias or you like Souls games, you should absolutely get it. It's easily as good as the original. I think it's better. And honestly, y'all are going to see a fuck ton of it on the channel anyway. So if you're like, well, I think I need to see more first. Well, don't worry. You're, you're gonna. It's coming. It's coming. Because <laughs> out. So my, my Let's Play run is I'm doing a Sage run because back in the alpha, that's what I thought was a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do 100% walkthrough. I might. If I do, though, I mean, well, I, all right, before I even get into that discussion, because that's a whole separate topic. At, the, at a base, I want to do a katana run because there are... So I noticed with some of the katanas, there is a uh, special thing. I think it's called... What was it? It was like a hex blade or an encant or something. Basically, it's like on certain katanas, you do a special attack and then it would imbue the blade with that element. Which sounds fucking cool. So I definitely want to do that. Besides that, obviously, I need to do a zug zug run because that's what I do. So I need a katana run and I need a zug zug run. And then I might even do like a thief or throwing weapon run because there are some throwing weapons. Uh, oh no. Like if you, play, if you watch the alpha footage that we played, we had some, some uh, we had a throwing knife build on that very briefly where I just like loaded up on bleed knives and something's health just like rapidly tickled on down. And that was fucking cool. They have dark magic? I haven't found a dark mage yet, but I would be very surprised if there isn't. I mean, given in the first zone alone, there was the, the variety of mages I just went off. I would be very, very surprised. If there's not a, uh... If there's not one. Get 
as holy there you can be a holy uh sun bro there's there's there there are sun bros in the game they're not called sun bros but they're sun bros it's like the golden the, the holy golden order or some shit like that Uh, if you want to meet at Ruin Strewn Precipice, I'm just killing the uh, the worm real quick. Wait, killing the worm? Through. The magma worm. I mean, I thought we were gonna... You told me to solo it? Is that what you're saying? No, no. Ruin Strewn Precipice. It's the next bonfire up. Ah. Cool. Lots of poison. I also do not have a way to get up to Altus yet. I am there. Boss is half dead. And he's dead. All right. Grass has been touched. Fast traveling back over to Ruin Screen. I'm there for you. And sign is down. Go ahead and pop the tongue, because I know Ham is just sitting in chat waiting. Like, I need to come into the world! <laughs> this is actually a three-man playthrough. Andre outside the White House. Let me in! Yeah. Let me in. <laughs> yeah. See, little did you know, we said co-op playthrough, but this is actually a three-man playthrough with Mad Ham as the third person. He's just gonna invade us the whole fucking playthrough. <laughs> The co op be private, not unless you use mods. I guess I could grab it, it's right here. I mean, more people in chat are welcome to come be wild cards. And... Hang on, isn't there a sombering down this ladder? God, my memory is so fucking good. Somber 4. Yep. Nice. They call this walkthrough brain. Mm. 
You don't want me to come ruin your game. I'm too good. It's a bold statement. <laughs> okay, guy. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't think I don't think the playthrough will be ruined from somebody invading regardless, but M's coming up behind. Keep trying with the catch flame. It's working real well for you so far. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's Goodbye, hand. That's one way to go. <laughs> Thank you for the fur calling finger remedy. <laughs> I choose death. I mean, after his disgraceful cliff fall. True. Did you go up? Yeah, we go up. Be over here. What's your least favorite build? I don't really have one, to be honest. We don't. Scouting for ham. We don't need He's to go over by there. The, uh, the sirens. But that way is. Uh, this is the way to the giant squid. We yeah. Up that ladder and wrap around. Ham, don't be a dick. I mean, he can be a dick. The harpies are gonna come down. That did not work out how you thought it would be, did it? Again! <laughs> Again! Damn, what, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Damn, this is just embarrassing. Twice now, Ham, really? There's the, you know what? Just wait. Just wait until we're in the next spot. There won't be any cliffs you can fall off. <laughs> There's flat grounds. <laughs> <There's the laughs> this is, I'd rather eat myself off than die again. Jonathan, thanks for always well. keeping it real low. I need to decrease the text size of donations so the full donation can fit into the box. Defense is decreased. I 
heal. Oh yeah, fine. You had to charge heavy. No, give me the eye. Give me the eye. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't get the eye. He's trying to spin Blue. to win. This is called the circumcision maker. You know, because I'm like slicing that PP. Uh. <laughs> ah, it makes sense. Sure. This is how dragon circumcisions are done, the lands between. You gotta remember, the Echo Aid Dancing Blade is a fine, precise tool, okay? Uh-huh. This is a surgically sound operation. <laughs> Knights do dragon circumcision, they just walk up and they're like, alright, time for it, and then they like, charge up their attack. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? It's, it's the skin in position. There it comes. I can't rest at the grace for whatever fucking stupid reason. Because you're still tongued. You can't rest at graces when you're tongued. Nope. Still can't rest. Oh, what the fuck? It's a bug with this oh, grace. Is that like... the one that's bugged where it's like... Someone put a sign directly on it, and you can't toggle to it. Yeah. Touch Grace, touch Grace, touch Grace. People keep talking about this Outriders patch that's supposedly gonna be good. I don't know. Do I have to re-download that game again? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a terrible game. There just wasn't content. August! August, help me! I'm not losing any more friends. <laughs> I mean, I think if it had content, I would have kept playing it. I, I enjoyed parts of it. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I had a pretty good tank build going. Yeah, and I, I like blowing people up as my pyro thing. Alright, so are we starting from here and fighting our way past, uh, what's-his-face and all that? Land CX and all them? Yeah. Yeah, we could. When do you um, think the DLC will come out? Like, October. Alright, I'm just waiting at that first grace. Okay. I was thinking there is a, um... I will get Cowboy next stream. Progress too fast for your character. I gotta go to work soon. <laughs> I will be waiting, Ham. I will be waiting. Alright, sign and stand right next to that, Grace. Um, there is a fog wall in between us and kind of that lower chasm to get to the Shaded Castle. Well, we can get up to that point. There's some... Okay. I mean, we could kill the, uh... Kill the stuff. Yeah, we can, uh, there's another seed that we can grab. What about, um, um, I think. Or no, Couldn't we go there. to the, isn't one of the tunnels here a bear, bell bearing tunnel? Um. Or is it just a smithing stone one? No, there is a bell bearing. It's over, it's the sealed tunnel. That's, uh, hey, past the dual drag What's or the dual percent for okay, that one. The recent patch? That's behind another fog wall, though. Uh, it's probably the bleed build I already have up. Because that maximizes bleed damage and uses every good combination of a bleed weapon there is. Oh, man. Dagger. <laughs> Damn, so he, he hit the ground, bounced back up from your hit, and then got hit by the follow-up swing of the sword. That worked pretty well. Hey, let me up. Why don't you have your notes? Oh, I mean, do you want me to read chat or do you want me to read my notes? We only have me starting a new character. We were gonna do both of us, and then we realized it didn't really make a lot of sense. 
Just because the problem... As it is right now, I'm having to kind of run through because of the New Game Plus character. So I was like, after everything that we do right now, I'm having to run back through on a horse and kill the boss that we just killed. Yeah, because the, so the, the problem with doing two brand new characters is it would have been like... I do Liurnia, and then Tox does Liurnia, and then I do the Magma Worm, and then Tox does- And it would've just been duplicate efforts. Yeah. Thanks, Buck. This is a downgraded version of Lancey X. I'm probably gonna do reduced damage to him. Oh yeah, I am. Oh well, yeah, I'm using a lightning weapon. Oh boy. Ow! Come to me. You That's alright, we just push through. We only need to do like... Oh, well, looks like it's all on me now. Please. Still going. He's he's as he's flapping his wings. Now he's stomping very angrily. No! Oh, ah! Damn! He was almost done. Where does this dragon go after? Out into a field? I'm just gonna- I'm gonna like, make him leave real fast. No, we have to- we have to kill him. I mean, he- well, this isn't- we don't- we don't actually kill him here, though, so it's I know, like, we still gotta fight him. No, we will not down that abandoned cop. I'll- I'll pick you up in a second. I'm just gonna make him leave. <gasps> Bypassing a boss? Unacceptable. I mean, I would Chat, have said bypass. Isn't Bill being kind of like lame right now? You should totally vocalize your thoughts about that. Clear, I don't belong here. All right, he's gone. That's how close I was. You want to just ride up past into the uh, the chasm then? Yeah, down into the thingy. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Because otherwise, you would summon me to walk like 200 meters and then just summon me again. It's kind of pointless. What level am I? Like 50. I'm a low level to be doing all this right now. But Gelmir, on the other hand. Gelmir, maybe. Outer Gelmir, for sure. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Is this the... Hang on, is... I, don't... I don't have the map up. I don't remember if this is the right spot or not. Um, so once you get to... I'm at the Blood Blade thing. Don't I just ride down this? Blood Blade. You go past the Tibia Mariner to the northwest. No, hang on. I'm already down in a, in a valley, though. I think I can ride straight there from here. Um, 
if you're down in a valley, where are you? I'm riding past oh, the... Yeah, I went the wrong way. I went up towards Galmir. We need to go. Okay, the castle's the other way. Silly me. Bobby. Yeah, I'm coming up on it now. I'll just pick you up at the Shaded Castle Grace. Or I could pick you up right okay. at the entrance if we want to do the other stuff here. Uh, uh, uh yeah, sure. Let's just go. Let's just, just, just <laughs> go to the, just go to the Grace. Let's just go to the Grace. Yeah. Go to the Grace, keep it easy. Harley, oh my god. You always want so many pets when I'm streaming. Jealous kitty. Yeah, so you jealous kitty? While we wait for Tox, I can show y'all the jealous kitty. Come here. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. All right, sign is down at Shaded Castle. That's enough of being on camera. Her name's Harley. We call her Harley Meow Meows. Because she goes meow. Let's go get Papa a sword. Alright, question, if you had to start your YouTube career all over again, but you're aware of what you know now, are you still side with Machinima? No. Back in the day, given the YouTube ecosystem was still like the Wild West back then, Machinima contracts were terrible. They were like a 60-40 split. Ship's That's dog shit. Yeah, shit was predatory as fuck. <laughs> and they were like five year contracts. Looking back. If Machinima wasn't defunct, it would probably be worth fucking going after him for lost income for predatory practices or some shit. I'm gonna pop a, uh, a hot real quick. Or you could just heal. Yes, Let my, me do my, my support summon job, please. I don't know what he's doing. Mm, power within. He's getting ready to hit us with fireballs, I'm guessing. I don't know what his, his game plan was there. Uh, Just run to the stairs. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Get that grace.
Touch grace. <laughs> Got him! Grass acquired. Nobody expects the cowboy from above. Was he, like, knocked down and just recovering, too? Yeah, I knocked him off the ladder. <laughs> um, let's see, five... And a second. Need to check something here. Um... Notes on electric videos. Um, yeah, I actually want one, but it just doesn't make sense to upgrade right now. My current car is a 2019, so if I was to trade that in to get electric, I mean, I would just be throwing away money. You know, it's it's, it's 2019 and it has like 10,000 miles on it. It's basically a brand new car. There's no point to trade it in as much as I want electric. But we might be upgrading my wife's to electric if we can find one. It depends if we have one that'll fit the mold because she wants an SUV. I go full electric? Obviously. Hybrids are pointless sim for the simple fact that I don't get a tax write-off for buying a hybrid vehicle. I do for buying full electric. Yeah. SUV is if I get an accident, I win. I mean, it's more I need a vehicle that can fit two children car seats and for that you're either getting an SUV or you're getting a minivan. Those are basically your options. I mean, could you fit them in a sedan? Sure. Would I do that by choice? Hell no. Are you still finding new stuff, or can you confidently say you've been everywhere? I've been everywhere. Is that the boss room? Yeah, that is. Yes, it is. Oops. Tesla accelerated the onset of EVs, but I really don't want to get a Tesla. I've heard, because if I was going to get a Tesla, I would be getting, like, a Model S played, and I have heard some pretty fucking bad horror stories about the, uh, manufacturing quality of their top of the line. Like, we're talking $100,000 cars, you would think they would, like, that, you, you know, you would think that shit would be fucking flawless, and that is not what I have heard from Tesla owners. You can still get tax break on Teslas, they're electric. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of issues about build quality and reliability, which 
that's my name. Daddy, please die. Drop your sword for me. It's your son, Baby Briar. Give me your sword. Yeah! Oh no, hang on. You know I got him! <laughs> Papa Briar's down! Baby Briar prevails! Baby Briar got my sword, now I'm on fire. It's Baby Briar. Are you gonna upgrade to the armor and the sword? Or just the sword? Um, I'll probably pick up the armor as well. I'll have to, I'll have to look. Make sure charge outlet is mounted outside the wall and uses wires. Plus one size of them recommended to risk a garage fire. Jesus. Anyway, I'll be right back. I gotta pee. Okay. Mercedes EQS? I've never even heard of that. What is that? Oh shit! Wait, invasion! No, so bad, damn it! Got a little, uh... I got a little iffy for a second there. I don't know what happens if you die to Ensha. I mean, what? I don't... I, I, you can't just tell me check it out. I'm asking, like, what? what is it? <sighs> Fine, let me just fucking Google it. God damn. You should check out this EV. What is it? Here's the price. That doesn't tell me anything! <laughs> is it an SUV? It's a sedan. I don't want a sedan. See? You could have just told me it's a sedan, and I would have been like, oh, huh? Oh, no thanks. So everyone and their mother is saying that Millennia is the hardest boss. The boss that gave me the hardest time was Dragon Lord. Um Millennia. I would I would say Millennia is probably the hardest boss. Millennia is probably the hardest boss. Next? Not like that. Or if we, uh. Well, actually, yeah, there's a five. I can get a, a upgrade five out in Kaelid. Um, there's just the one and two stone in with the falling beast. Or the, uh, bell bearing we can grab. Yeah, well, there's a five out in Kaelid. I might go run and just grab it real fast. Like a sprint and grab. Dash and grab. I'd have to. Yeah, hold up. I'm gonna go dash and grab. Okay. The six and seven will be volcano. Yeah. That's an eight in there too, right? Mm, maybe.
Right now, the car that I want was the, uh, the new Audi Electric. They're like RSGT or whatever, but I went the other day, <clears throat> I had some time, so I like went by the dealership and sat down on it. And honestly, I think I'm just too much of a thick boy for it. Because those bucket seats are meant for skinny people. Teslas are no longer eligible for the tax credit. Why? Fuck. I mean, they're electric vehicles. Why Why do Teslas not get the tax credits? Is it just because fuck Elon? Yeah, the e-tron GT, that thing. It's fucking nice. What I like is that it's, I mean, it's big, because I have, I have an A5 right now. And I like the A5 a lot. The, uh, the e-tron, though, you get four doors. So I could argue, um, <clears throat> I could argue, uh, that it's a family car to my wife. But at the same time, it's just like a fast, zippy toy. Tesla's a luxury vehicle? I mean, I don't think I consider a Model 3 luxury, though. Is it just all Teslas, or is it over a certain price range doesn't get the tax credit? Tax credit only applies to the first 200,000 EVs a company sells. Huh. Interesting. I wonder how many EVs Audi has sold so far. I think I'm gonna die if I jump down this. I don't- I test drove a Tesla before I bought my current car and I just was not a fan of- So the, the things I didn't like about Tesla, the um, The interior? Very, very minimalist. Like, super fucking minimalist. And, personally speaking, I like buttons. I'm a very tactile person. I want to have a knob that I can use to turn the radio volume up and down. I want to be able to just tap a button to turn my AC on and off. Tesla doesn't have that. Everything in Tesla is on a center console. It's like having a massive iPad in the middle of your car, and you control everything from that. Some people like that. I personally am not a fan at all. I, I, I don't like that shit. I want... I want tactile buttons. I want fucking buttons. Um, so that, that was not, yeah, that was a big instant, like, uh, I don't know if I would enjoy this. The other thing, and I don't know if this is just a Tesla thing or if this is an all EV thing, but, uh, the whole regenerative braking thing, where, like, when you would, when basically in the Tesla, when you pull your foot off the gas, the car starts braking automatically. And that was really weird. I mean, I know that's something that with enough time I would get used to it and I would adapt. But like test driving at least, that was really fucking weird to me. I was like, what is happening here? Instead of just like coasting, you just immediately start slowing down. Yeah, it's 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 really strange. Cause there's there is no there is no coast. You just you you just start like pulling your foot off the gas and it just starts braking. So it's, I mean, in a sense, it's like driving with just one foot. I was not, I was not, I was like, mm. Yeah, I was like, you get used to it. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I've driven this way my entire life. I don't know if I want to change how I drive. Only fine. You have now to become the thing as much. You can adjust those? Well, you're doing a better job of selling the car than the Tesla dude did. Which honestly, I know this this just sounds petty, but but man, the Tesla dealership, those that was that was a fucking joke. That was the biggest fucking joke I've ever had trying to buy a car. It was like I don't even know how to describe it. It was like dude bros. Glor glorified Apple store. No dude, they're like, hey, welcome to the store, man. What are you interested in? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm gonna uh Trading in the Challenger, upgrading, want something kind of two-door, sporty. He's like, well, you know, 
uh, we got like the model S, and I'm like, well, it's, you know, I, could, I could probably swing it, but it's like kind of at the top end of my range. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. And he's like, well, just try it out, man. And then we get in, and he's like, yeah, you know, it's like super minimalistic interior. Lots of people really like this. And oh, we got the cool buttons. And he like presses something, and like the Tesla makes like a fart noise. He's like, you can just like hit it. And it's like, burr, burr, burr. And I'm like, Mmm, cool. Like, oh, wow. who the fuck? Who the fuck looks at an eighty thousand dollar car and then, as a dealer, you're like, I'm gonna sell them on the fart noise. Like, what the fuck? No, you idiot. It's the last thing I'm interested in. Ah, uh, gimmick. Come on, can the car do a fart noise, sir? That's that's the most important thing to me. If it can't do a fart noise, I'm out. Like, what the fuck? Honestly, like who? Who in their right mind thinks that's a good way to sell a car? Alright, so where are we meeting up? Uh, I'm just saying I'm still doing like upgrade. Okay. I gotta upgrade. I need to. I'm upgrading the shield I have now. That's true. Elon Musk probably does think that that's a good way to sell a car. <laughs> it's quirky. <laughs> so you can play in the car if you fart. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, what oh, was that? Me or was it the car? I don't know. Well, it fucking stinks. So it sure wasn't the car. <laughs> Uh, that's the other fun feature of the Model S. It has a fucking fart pouch. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Like. It was, it was by far, it was the weirdest, weirdest fucking selling point I think I've ever heard. This is, I don't even know. Hey, are you using your, uh, are you using your Alexander shard? Uh, I don't have an Alexander shard on this character. Damn. Well, shit. Uh, hang on. I gotta go grab a, uh, where's it at? I gotta go grab, I, I don't have a good third talisman. I don't feel comfortable sitting in a giant battery. I ain't worried about that. I use a vape. That's bringing a giant battery next to my face and inhaling every time I use it. I'm not worried about sitting in a giant battery. Yeah, don't worry. It's not a giant battery. It's thousands of small batteries. Completely different. I mean, I probably don't need an Alexander shard just yet. If we're, if we're being honest... If I take an Alexander Shard this early in the game, I am kind of just turning myself into a monster. Yeah. But Green we'll Turtle, like we'll Green Green Turtle, I can not gonna pick up Ensha's armor. Nah, garbage. I might pick up the Briar armor, but first I'm grabbing the Green Turtle talisman. Ensha's armor worked outside of like 30% HP. It would be all right, but. You know, I'll give Tesla a break. Most of you can't afford it. Dude, the, the Model 3 is, like, not an expensive car. It's, like... Well, what, that, 30, that's an Elon fanboy right there. 30, 40 grand? Like, that's pretty standard for, like, any decent mid-sized sedan. And if you're getting, like, an Ultima fully loaded, you're paying about the same. It's not... It's not some crazy out-of-reach price. Hustles are kind of turning into, like, I don't know, fucking Yeezy equivalent of cars. Right, there or we like go. Supreme. You're just paying for the fucking name at this point. Mm, okay, let me go over here. Respect. Okay, 24, 23, 14. Hard thou know. Nah. Let's see, 24, 23, 14. Mm, probably want you at 20, and then this is gonna really take a big hit to my vigor. Uh, let me see, I need to check my, um...
40. Uh, I gotta get to like a 62.4. 24, 23, 62.4. Oh wow, so the lowest I could go would be 19 endurance. No, wait, I think, I don't know if that number's off. What's the basic archery worth? Is it five? Arsenal? Um, uh, I know the plus two is plus Oh no, arsenal, regular arsenal's 15%. Okay, well hang on then. Let wait, me... so great arsenal's only an extra like two? Or no, yeah. it's 28% for Arsenal. No, no, it's not. Uh, what the fuck is it? Is it 19% for Great Arsenal? I don't remember. 56.9. Okay, so I could go down to 16. Wait, no. What did I say? 14 decks? Yes, okay, perfect. All right. Um, and that's even, I even have the backup Reduvia, which I haven't touched. I might as well just get rid of that. It's just dead weight. Tesla in my area are over 100K. The 100K is only if you're looking at the most expensive Teslas, though. Like, that's like you're looking at Model S's that are loaded up and everything. This really does kind of look like just baby Briar. <laughs> Might keep the helmet. Briar's mini me. Damn, I'm gonna be too heavy. But I think I might get one point in endurance here. Used car prices in particular are bad right now. Uh -oh. If you're buying new, it's uh... Which I know buying new cars, everyone's like, Oh, don't buy new cars, don't buy new. New is stupid, but... See, the thing is, I, I use... Like, I use my car so little that I don't mind buying new. Because I'm if like for example with the Audi, you know, I bought the Audi brand new. And it has, like I said, ten thousand miles on it. And I've had it for over two years now. Like so if you're not you know, if you're putting such low miles on it, like whenever the time goes that it's time for me to actually sell that Audi, I'm actually gonna get a really good deal turning that back in. Because a let or uh used cars are in high demand and I mean, how many fucking 2019s do you know with 10,000 miles on them, you know? Yeah, Melon got a, uh, he got an RS3 like six months ago, and it's worth 15% more now than when he actually bought it. <laughs> Shit's fucked. <laughs> yeah. RS3, I thought he got the GT or something. Um... Why not lease then? No. Because, I, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of leasing. I mean, I might, I might lease with my next car, but especially the thing is I got, I got a kid, you know, and the last thing I need is like the kid or the dog gets in the car and then something happens. And then all of a sudden leasing is they're like, Oh, well, looks like uh, your kid fucking vomited all over the seat. We need you to buy out this lease. It's just, eh, I don't know. All right. So where, let's see, we got the sword. Um, we could work our way towards Volcano, or should we just go towards Caleb and start getting Caleb done? Well, the poll that we said was Caleb after the sword, so I feel like we should go do Caleb. Alright, let me grab, I want to grab the Mistwood map real fast. Okay. Just 
running through Altus while you're upgrading and grabbing a bunch of uh, bonfires so I'm ready. Look how we haven't done a single fucking catacomb. I mean, it's not like yep. I, I'm not using the Ashen Summon, so it's like, I don't need them. Yeah, fuck, we don't even need to go get Mimic or anything. I guess we could go to Rotview Balcony. That's like the first one, right? Yeah. Yeah. There could be that. Just keep the long way around. I need more stamina to go to the Briarhelm. Damn, Godric Soldier Gauntlets have like better better stats and poise on the Briar Gauntlets and they weigh less. <laughs> the fuck? Yep. Mm, something's attacking me. Is it the one purse rotted flesh thing? Stats are pretty low. I gotta get my vigor up to 40. Hey, when did we die? Um, Lancey X. Oh yeah, Runark. Stats. All right, well I'm at that bonfire already when you are. Faster. I am now teenager now. Briar. He's evolving. All right, signs down. Debating if I want a different shield or if the shield will work fine. Hmm. Not really blocking. Hang on, I might go grab a different shield. Anyone here know how to record Discord voice chat in OBS? Uh, it should be default. It, it's just so that's gonna be your audio settings. What you got to do is look at OBS and Check your go to your desktop audio click properties and see what device it's using for example mine uses my headset Then over in discord you would go to user settings you would go to voice and video output device and it says headset If the output as as device Yeah, as long as those match up boom I, don't want I, I know shield crash can be good. Um, I didn't buy the Briar shield though. I wouldn't be able to use the great shield right now anyway. The weight wouldn't work. The little pot you're supposed to talk to, pot burn. Uh, no, you get you get a talisman that makes your throne pots stronger, which you probably were never going to use that anyway. Banish shield is ridiculous in terms of medium shield. Very high stability. Looks really good. It does look really good. It's not as good as, as the brass shield, but the fashion's better. But I don't know if it matches this armor that well. That matches even less. I was thinking going for the rift shield. Just a small little parry shield. I think visually that looks better. Because you see how like the thorns are sticking through it? That's going to bother the fucking piss out of me. I mean, Spiral Horn would kind of fit the spiky aesthetic. I don't have Spiral Horn. No. Otherwise, I would. I mean, I could go get Spiral Horn, I think. No, I don't have any of those graces. Ugh. Let's see. You'd have to run all the way up the eastern side of Lyurnia. I'd have to. I could get there from the Church of Inhibition. You have the Church of Inhibition? Yeah. No, I'm fine with this shit. It looks good. It's a good helmet to use with the Malformed Dragon Armor. Well, there's this thing called the Malformed Dramagate Helm. You might want to look into. It'll You're not at Rotview Balcony. I noticed that. I just realized that. Do you want to just meet at Caleb Ruins? Nah, Balcony. I'm there. Yep. Signs there. I was looking at him, I'm like, that doesn't look like where I am. That's a sweep. That's a running spin. I 
That's a slam. That's a slam. What'd you get the uh, sword up to? Plus, Plus five. Ooh. Do you like Teenage Briar? Yes. <laughs> Why is that not censored and everything else in this game is? God damn it. Lolly feet. Ooh. I hate that. I'm going to slow walk at this invader. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 bum 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 that's RP walk through the entirety of Caleb. Caleb's a long fucking zone for that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hmm. How much are these things worth for souls? Nothing, but we can murder them anyway. Mm, satisfying. Oh, here he is. Bum 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 Him. Cut off his escape route. Oh, that didn't last long. Let's kill some dogs. It's a great sword here, Tox, if you want it. Eh. Kinda happy with my lightning hammers. Yeah, this thing is doing some work. Can't activate this. It's weird. Look. No, it's because I have it already. It. Huh. Yep. Seems that, about right. that would do it. Fuck. Collapses that wall? It's new. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I don't remember what's down here. Oh no, it's the big, the, the fire tongue shield. Cool pumpkin. Is it the fire shield? Uh, probably. Yeah, we don't really need that. We can just keep going. Yeah. We need to, we'll need to kill a guy in the swamp. Uh, I have to do, yeah. I have to do Millicent's quest line. What do you need from that? The... the rotten wing talisman? Yeah, okay. Technically, I could go for Millicent's Prothesis, and then I wouldn't have to put any points into Dex. I could just run that and get the five point Dex along with the stat boost, the attack you boost. On fire up, or do you already have it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. 
What's the chat? What's the earliest we can kill Millicent and get her prothesis? The sleep sword is back to the west near all the birds. Did I pop the tongue? Sure. In Dominula? Okay, so we can kill her in Dominula and get the talisman I want. And then that's just more points into strength and arcane. Ah, Lifesteal Fist. The most useless Sash of War. Actually, we could... We could just go straight down south and then teleport to the castle and then fight... Chad Don. Good. You're kind of low level for a Don. Uh... I mean, I'm 55. Yeah. And he was nerfed. Yeah. I normally fight him right around 65 or 75, but... Well, I mean, we still gotta... We could, I guess we could kill the thing in the swamp. We could do uh, the castle. We could kill the thing in the swamp, do the, the red main... Um, what's it called? The red main place that's up ahead. Yeah. Fort. Red main fort. This is an actual Vader. I don't think this is someone from stream. You could just kind of run to Zeke's. I mean, we don't have. We're not. We're not going to Zeke's though, so he can. What the hell. Quite possibly the worst Grand Six Bolt Invader I've ever fought. I mean, I do need to kill a Zeke's. Let me pop the tongue off for him. Yeah, it was a hard enough fight. I'm gonna buff us as well. Because killing a Zeke's gets me my rot breath. Which we want. It also allows me to use my rot breath. <laughs> Which I know you want, so let's yeah. go down. Yeah, we didn't mention it at the start, but one of the... Oh, oh, looks like we got what a friend. What? Oh, let's just do it again. I should remember for spawn and vulnerability. One of the things we decided after the first stream was Tox can't use crazy spells until we reach that spot in the game. So that that way, he's not just rot breathing the world. Bro, either fight us or fuck off. We have things to do. Where's the where's the shout? Where's my hay at? What is this guy Dude doing? He's going to Narnia. He just wants to fight us near enemies. Chat, where do we get casual greeting from? Oh no, he uh, ran over there and he crouched yeah, and he's, he's doing sneak shit. Well, we could work around from behind and go into the Dragon Communion Church and just wait. Yeah, we'll do Exeeks later. There's no point in fighting him when this dude's here. Actually, if we're careful about it, Exeeks could kill him as well. Um, yeah, if we lure him in. Where's he at? Saw him. He's to the north.
Fortunately, I'm a little glowy right now. Hey! Bro, fucking come out and fight. I'll fight one-on-one, -on -one. I don't care. Come here, you're wasting my time. We could go to the fort, teleport, and fight Radon. Mm, I don't think that we can teleport. True, you can't teleport. The fort will be deactivated since we've been to Ultus anyway. Yeah. Well, no, I meant the 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 fort Kaelin teleport us to Radon's castle. Oh. Is this dude oh, just gonna? Way the fuck over there. Where is he? Uh... Even at? Oh no, I see him. He's west. He's west? Yeah. Get him like a little bit lower. Glintstone, Pebble, Grand Six, Bull. Man, this dude is like fucking Trihardimus Maximus over here, bro. Fight or die? Like, is he trying to this run? Guy to is the worst. Jump to your glintstone pebbles. Sit the fuck down. Ugh. He's hoping to just one shot with a glintstone pebble. Shot. He's running to his Zeke. I think. You already got Let's balls go dropped on you once. Only three more heals to go. when they're outnumbered. I mean, the thing is, he's just running, though. He's not actually, like, oh, now he's trying, but for the first five minutes, he wasn't even interested in a fight. Like, I think it's a, like, if I could understand if this was me, Tox, and Ron waiting to kill invaders, but it's clear that we're just looking for a fight. So it's like, you know, either, either do, do the job and kill us, or just leave. Like, if you're not gonna fucking invade like an invader, you know? It's like it's clear the guy wasn't he didn't like want to fight I don't, I don't which makes no sense to me like if i invade i'm killing you i might reposition but i'm not gonna take fucking you know Six years to do it yeah i'm not gonna be like all right well if i sneak around the whole half of the map while crouched maybe i can get an angle on like no, i'm just gonna try and fucking kill you and if i can't i'm moving to the next person to kill them it's a question of going for the kill versus just like fucking dancing around. Ooh. It's gonna be kind of a rough fight, on the real. It is. <laughs> oh my god, he has so much health. I think 
What's your fire damage? Oh, he does. He takes a lot of fire damage. You know, the tricky part here is I don't have any way to cleanse rot. I don't have my spell equipped. Oh. And connection here. And I'm jumping on the fucking horse. I'm out. <laughs> you wanna attempt that one again? I might just kill him. I don't know. Do we wanna do we wanna do this guy? We can we can do it. I mean, I need to go get the, I need to go get the thing, too. The, um, the communion seal. I don't even have that. Oh, yeah, you do. So do you want to go Stranded Graveyard first? Uh, sure. I think I can pull you in there. I think so. Do I, I don't, I don't know. Do I need to put the, uh... Oh yeah, okay. I'll need to open the door for myself first, because I can't put it down at the actual bonfire. I mean, it might be faster for me to just do this. Alright, my sign's down just inside. I'll run past the poison first. There you go. Alright, the sign's down just outside the poison. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Weird. How did I not die? They nerfed the damage on these things? I don't know. It sure fucking feels like they did. I feel like I should have died right there, but I didn't. No, you should have waited. I can get him to come back up for me. I don't know. I mean, I was going to kill it once I get to the spot. Yeah, exactly. If you die as an invader, you just invade again. Like, I get- wait, I mean, if I invade somebody and it's clearly like a three-man gank and they're just waiting to push my shit in, I'm not gonna fucking play that game. I'm gonna waste their time. But it's like, it's clear we're just- Yeah, they nerfed the shit out of the damage that this thing yeah. does. It's clear we're not wasting time. We're trying to go through, which just makes it weird, like, you know. Why just just go for the kill? We're not trying to trick you into a trap and hit you with three people. Just go for it. Go for it. Either secure the bag or or don't. That's it. Do you have a bow? I don't have a bow. I do. I think I went the wrong way. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta drop down. It's so right, it, it's right around the corner. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I guess I could run an Erd Tree favor. It's not, it's not bad.
forgot that one of these things is down here. Okay, listen here, Mr. Spinny Minnings. No more Beyblading. Where's the next one? I mean, you're supposed to. That's where we go next. <laughs> yep, crystal darts will fuck up gargoyles. I don't know if I can... Oh no, I can put a retreat fever on and be medium load. Cool. Oh, I can upgrade my helmet too. Oh, it's because I changed my shield. Ah. I think I like these better than the briar gauntlets. I don't know. No, I'll just be full briar, man. Alright, moment of truth. Wait, what are you shooting at? That's not... Oh, never mind. It's not coming yet. I'm gonna wait for it. Nice timing. First try. What's the Rex on that? 14 faith? Maybe. <clears throat> I'm gonna need some faith for the dragon thing. You already grabbed the uh, convenience seal? Nope, that's up ahead though. Yeah. Left, then right, then up. Yep, yep, yep. I'm get another seed while we're down here too. Yep, yep, yep. We already got the main thing we wanted down here, or we're about to. Ooh, this one doesn't knock them down. That's actually nice. Dragon communion seal. Let's go. Is mine. Let's go beat the shit out of a goddamn tree spirit. <laughs> I wish the- oh, the Reduvia does have slightly higher criticals. Huh, I'll have to upgrade that as well. Mm, oh, I can use this. only needs 10 faith. Lol. Uh, Communion seal? Yeah. Damn. Yep, 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 yep. I think I can get some stuff from, um, I think I can go to EG to upgrade my Reduvia. So I'm not going to do a ton, but it'll be good to have, uh, just a Reduvia offhand. Even PvP, I can just, uh, you know, somebody's running, chase them down. Get with the Blood Blade. Yeah. All right, come here, you big ugly bitch. Oh no, grab me. Stop all that, you fucking wormy little bitch.
gonna go. Oh, I was about to. Take it. Boss down. Should I go kill uh, a Gil real fast just to have his fire breath too? Yes. Oh, hang on. Which one's. Which one's the magic breath? Is that the dragon out in the Liurnia Lake? Uh, Glintstone breath is, yeah, that's that's the one out in the Glintstone or the lake. And then mm. Mm. the other one, the ice breath is up in fucking yeah, Dragonland ice or uh, Giantland. Well, let me, let me, I can dunk on a gill. Should I bring you along for the Glint boy? No, we gotta we gotta fight all bosses together. So pull me in for a gill too. For a gill, a gill's gonna die. A co-op run, man. We gotta do it co-op. Oh, hang on. Well, there's there's tree scent. I'm not pulling you in for him. This is just a revenge kill. Oh my god, dude, he's juggling me with a shield. Punk bitch. As long as there's world bosses, I think Tox can join still. But yes. I, don't, I don't, I mean, it's a gill. I'll bring him in for Glintstone. A gill is going to take me like one charged hit to the face and it'll be dead. I want to fight a gill though. You want to learn about dragon hunting, do you, lads? Let me show you the way. It's a really good gay pirate impression. Should I just kill the Glenstone dragon, too? I mean, it makes sense for, uh, because this is like, this is just old content that I, that we didn't do. But new game? This is new game. Not new game plus. Regular old new game. This is just what happens when <coughs> you have a proper build and run ahead and, and get badass shit. Me to the Caleb Highway staff and up Oh, actually, I might play him for this one. This one looks like it might be a fight. because my weapon is partially magic damage, so.
pulled out the bag of Bredouvia. Going for please? How scanning is I guess it's a plus one Reduvia. Yes, this is the arcane build. I love the dragons, but I do wish they were not so easy to read. I wonder if I went back and fought Madeir the same way that I approach dragons now. Would I have the same difficulty? I don't remember Madeir being as readable. Nah, Madeir is tricky. It's also, if you fuck up on Madeir, you're just dead. It doesn't do like 75% of your health bar like some of these decks do, you just die. <laughs> the same size as Madeir. Yeah. Just, I think Madeir's faster. And he doesn't telegraph his shit the same way. This is definitely... I'm liking this more than ever. I remember at the start of this, everyone's like, it's just gonna be rivers of blood! Like, no, no, thanks. Here, Madeir also has a massive health pool compared to these guys. Right. I'm liking this though, the, the quick Reduvia as a backup, and then the Marias as my primary. I'm gonna miss my double swords, but sadly they are a different build. They are a dex arcane, and Marias is a strength arcane. And it, that's, it just is what it is, you know? Goodbye, Regalias. You were beautiful while you lasted. I also don't think I need the double Reduvia anymore, since I'm using this just a quick offhand. Uh, Alright, so I'm heading on down to Aeonia. No. Kayla Highway South. Yep, sign's down there. I mean, this is gonna be similar. This is basically gonna be the strength version of the Dragon Lord build I already have, the one that hasn't been uploaded yet. Man, my stats are fucking thin right now. Let me see what my equipment load is at. 47.7. Divided by 70.6. I'm at 0.67, so I could drop a point or two. Oh, you know what? It's because of the it's because of the great rune that I can put on my extra shit right now. Forgot about that. Yeah, you don't want to drop anything then. <laughs> Unless you really want to be max and just rely on great runes. Could get a little sketchy though. No, yeah, I mean, eventually this would be like Erd Tree. I'd probably go the Millicents over the Ringed, the Rotten Winged. Uh, I guess green turtle wouldn't be terrible, and then, um, oh shit, I should've upgraded my fucking communion seal, I didn't do that. Alright, I'm gonna buff us and then we go for it. Yeah, I'll have to upgrade my, uh, my green, I'll upgrade my, 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 uh, communion after we kill this guy. My physic, stamina, and charged attack power. Alright, gonna beat this dragon's ass. What up, you big stinky bitch? And invaded. Do you want to try and kill the invader, and I'll take care of his Zeke's for a bit? 
uh, connection error, so neither. Oh, well, there we go. Alright, I guess this means it's time to disengage this guy. And take on the invader first. Oh, he also returned to his world. All right. Uh, put your sign down. I'll, I'll resummon you. Yeah. Back down the bonfire. You want to uh, rebuff or? I go still got the buffs. Right. I'm gonna buff myself. So if you want refresh, stand by me. Whoa. Actually, given his health pool, this is probably a... This is probably time for a little bit of Reduvia. Kill him before he does this mega rot. Yeah, you kinda did that. Yeah, 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 right when we said it. Cleansed and connection error again. What the fuck is up with the geeks and connection errors? I don't know. Signs back down, bonfire if you need to reset. up. No, I'm just gonna finish it, I think. Or try to at least. Oh shit, they hit me with the big rot breath, come on. I need one more bleed proc on him. Man, I'm gonna die to the rot! Ah, fuck. So close. Damn. Damn. I might just let me just solo him real fast since it's just I mean god, three DCs, uh -huh. you the invader, you. My I, I, like I am heavy load. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. All right. Oh man, I'm heavy load again. Can I go back? Oh, I'm too heavy now. I'm too heavy. All right, all right, I'm summoning you. Lost my rune arc. If losing the rune arc, I. I could no longer use the Dragon Communion Seal, even if I wanted to. Shit, I'm dumb. Hang on. Going double Reduvius. I thought that was the stamina regen. That's max stamina. Which one's stamina regen? 
Act Tears. Dropped by the Erd Tree Avatar found in Minor Erd Tree and Caleb East of the Smoldering Church. We went there. Did we not do that one? Um, maybe I didn't put it on. Whatever. Quickly before the net code kicks me. <laughs> All right. I want my rune arc health back. Fuck, I'm gonna die? Mm, damn, dude. No. I got die, 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 die. No. No. I got caught I got caught in a fucking an air pocket of rot. God damn it. Uh, One HP. Uh, I need to like invade some people to get some fucking rune arcs. Fuck, dude. <laughs> it's reminiscent of, uh... What the fuck is that dragon's name in the... Monster Hunter? Fatalis? Yeah, you remember when we were doing Fatalis? And oh, we got I remember. Down, like, fucking 1 HP. <laughs> I remember, if I remember Fatalis, that was not fun. How long were we attempting that shit? Like, fucking 12 hours? Felt like I was carrying... Fucking person in a backpack. Listen, I think you died more than I did. Been around since you were running DS2 fight clubs. You're Don't a even real one at fighting cowboy. Carrying. Come on. It was, uh, it was, it was kind. It was kind of a carry. Nah. Zeke's is Zeke's is Valhazak. They're they're one and the same. It's in a different game. Both assholes. Oh, fuck. 
damn it. That was one of those where it knocked me down and there was just could not get back up in time. You're my biggest fan, are you? What is my favorite food? That's something my biggest fan should know. Sounds back then. Hey, I gotta go buy some shit from EG to upgrade the Dragon Communion so real fast. Oh, true. As much as I love booty, it is not a food group. Ooh, Japanese curry is a good guess, but no. Though, I don't know. The more I eat it, the more that might actually be my new favorite. He knows you better than you know yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. No one? Ah, there it is. Ervin, chicken Alfredo. Off a pair of cheeks. Now, typically that's not how I eat my chicken Alfredo, but... I mean, I wouldn't say no to eating chicken Alfredo off of a big old juicy ass. <laughs> Alyssa can't handle it. Any tips for someone brand new to PvP? I'm pretty good at PvE, but I'm struggling to adjust to the lag. Practice. Practice. I mean, I don't think I could ever convince my wife to let me eat Alfredo off of her ass. Just gonna put it out there. I'm pretty sure that's like a... That sounds like a very specific kink I'd probably have to pay someone for. <laughs> hey, honey, can we try something? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an interesting conversation. I mean, Alfredo is hot. The one thing I hate about Aziz is I can dodge every single fucking stomp he does. Every come down. But he just jumps up and he's like, rot the world! And it's like, oh, okay, there goes, like, most of my fucking health. I'm on top of him! <laughs> I don't know how the fuck that is. All I know is he just wiped out an entire population of something off in the corner. Big bro? More fire. I just keep jumping off the cliff to avoid that bullshit. Where did he, did he phase? Oh yeah, he yeah, teleported. He respawned. Can you imagine yeah. if that shit reset his health? Oh, it would be infuriating. Down you go! There we go. Zeke's is down. I'm just gonna go to the dragon church. Yeah. Resummon from there and then head towards the castle. Yeah. No. I can upgrade to rot breath. Let's go. I need stats to use it. 
Oh, I think he killed the knight that was guarding the dragon. Oh, no, he didn't. It's here. Okay, just a little little preview of what awaits us in Furumazula. I wish we had that move. The wind slam? Yeah, that windshield slam. I'd use that shit all the time. Sick. Dude. That'd be awesome to have as like a great shield skill. Mm -hmm. All right, sun sound next to the I need twenty. Oh damn, it's twenty three faith for a Zeke's fuck. Is it really? Jesus. Yeah, I'll pick it up. I don't know if I'm going that deep on it. Twenty eight faith for Grails. Fuck me. So this is my... I need 10 faith before I can use that. I think the bigger... The bigger problem at the moment is my weight load. Or endurance? Yeah. I can leave the dragon commune seal on. It's not like it matters. Zero weight? Yeah. But I can't actually use it. And then when the time comes... I don't even really have the FP for these breaths. Four dragon yeah. breaths coming out fast. See, that's going to be more like a... 100 points from now type thing. Um, let me get... I'm going to go grab the uh, the map marker real fast. Okay. You want to just run through Sleepy Town and uh, pick up the seed and the uh, other upgrade on the other side of it? Mm. Or not Sleepy Town, the uh, Mage Town. I mean, we'll have to do Mage Town. We don't have to. Well, no, do we? Completely optional. I mean, there's nothing yeah. over there. No, there isn't. Unless we no. want to go. Well, we we could do it together and then go do uh the. No, let's just swamp. let's just go Cathedral Dragon Communion. Let's get. Well, so it's it's either Swamp or it's it's Radon. We need to do Swamp. We need we need but let's do Swamp because I need the Swamp to get access to, um, Millicent. Actually, so you want to start from Dragon Union to, or the highway? Let me, uh, hang on. I gotta go back to... I gotta go back to fucking Shaded Castle. I need, um... I need Millicent's prosthesis. Oh, yeah. But I'm gonna just run over with the horse and pick that up. Is this streaming episode two, or is this three he's working on? I mean, it says two in the title, doesn't it? Did I, like, fuck it up? It says two. Actually, if I, instead of Erd Tree... Okay. If I take off Erd Tree and I go back to Arsenal Charm, I can have the wait. The wait for all of my stuff. I don't remember where it's at. Isn't it up the ladder? No, it's like over. It's like right over here by these guys, isn't it? I don't remember where the hell it is. Oh, yeah. Um. <sighs> yeah, it's up the ladder first. I think that's it up there. Uh, 
creepy little fuckers. Of blood eventually? No. down Valkyrie's prosthesis acquired now I just need to jump out of this bitch so I can get out of combat why would I want virgin rivers of blood when I can have Chad spinny to winnie sword Now I'm just trying to get out of fucking combat. It's like a fast travel. Alright, uh, let's go... Ionia Swamp Shore. Ionia Swamp Shore. Okay. Rivers of Blood is not the best weapon. It's not even in the top five weapons categories. It's not even the best bleed weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna need. I want at least one more point in endurance. This 20 feels right. safe. Signs down. What is the best bleed weapon? Cross Naginata. Two of them. It's like fucking insta bleed when you have a. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very balanced. Dual cross Naginata, one with Sempuku, one with Bloodhound Step. GG, you're now the best PvP around. It is by far the most annoying thing in the entire game to fight. Infinite iframes. Ah! Little shit. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, hang on. Oh, never mind. This is one of those ones where you just gotta, like, hit it with one thing, isn't it? I think so. I'm gonna get it with some knives. Uh, you gonna get that knight that's on me? Or that's about to be on me? Sure. But actually still going for you. Looks like it is it? No. No? Okay. It's not trolling. Are you able to cleanse rot? Uh, I can cleanse it off myself. Well that doesn't help, Tox. You wanna drop me some boluses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Where in the fuck did they show up? God, right. Oh, I'm lagging. Uh, drop those uh those boluses. I already dropped them, they should be back on the uh the thing. On the thing? On the stump. 
Uh, did he snatch them? I don't see any bolt. Are you sure you, you let leave and didn't discard? I left them, man. I do not see them anywhere. Probably picked them up. I don't know. Here they were. One. Uh, oh, I, got, I, got, I got one. I got rid of it. I can rot. Gone. Those things hurt. Whoops, that's the same goddamn buff. Mando O'Neill. Yeah, there's some lore thing about how like O'Neill is uh supposed to be like the nephew of um O'Neill. Really? Yeah, it's something to do with like the names and, and Gaelic or some shit. Like his name would have been derived from the other one and it's usually an indication of like uh some type of familial connection. Wow, that kicking up the rod is pretty fucking annoying. Did a, an extra rune arc for me, oh boy. I would like a rune arc. I have like 150. I give me like five. Five would be good. I even dropped some to you. No. Do we have to do a. Uh... The town? Do we have to do the town to get through it? To get up top? Uh, you only have to touch one of them. It's the, uh,. Back left. Some in the uh, Caleb's Highway South. We'll just walk around the swamp. I guess you're kind of already over there. Hold on, let me just get over there. Oh, well, because I could. In theory, I could push Millicent to Dominula and we could rush that and I could get my talisman. Good. So what I'm thinking is, if I just do two, 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 and then we hop back over to Altus. No, we should do Caleb. Plus, I'm probably gonna wrap up the stream soon. It's already been almost three hours. Um, let me uh, let me reach let me reach Millicent's. Um, I'm gonna reach Millicent's church. And I'll just do the, the Aeonia shit real fast. I can just drop the one, get to Millicent, talk to Gowrie, turn in the thing to Millicent, back to Gowrie, and just bing, bang, boom. Yeah, that'll be easier than summoning me in anyway. Yeah, because we're not going to clear the whole city, and I don't need invisibility sorceries or any of that bullshit. Nah. So it's just the one that we have to hit? Yeah, so... Facing the door, uh, it's like back left. I think. I'm just gonna go to the northwest tower and try and see if that's it. Yeah, it should be that one. 
Two ultis so you can catch up? Fuck, we gotta go before Ham catches up. Oh shit. Uh, that one was not it. When you said. They're all, they're, all, they're all pretty easy to get. I'll just grab them all. Yeah. Yeah, there are only three of them. It's not like you have archers or anything else shooting at you while you're on yeah. these rooftops. That's true. Oh no, I fell. Ah! No, oh, ah, I slipped. I'm gonna just run back. Am I struggling so much with this? Hang on. What the fuck? Why am I not remembering how to do this? Oh my god! Oh, it's the eastern one. I just did it. It's the eastern tower. No! Oh my god. Alright, fuck, finally there. Stone sword key. Oh no, come on. Fuck it, I'm just riding through. I don't care. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's not worth the hassle. <laughs> All I want is Millicent. I never need to come back here. Got the church. Yeah, I'll do I'll do Millicent stuff real fast, and then I think we go and um, we'll fight Radon, and then we'll end the stream on Radon. And then that way we can. Well, maybe Radon reset and then just warp right back into the castle to fight the. the duo. Yeah, knock the duo out. Easy free runes. 
I don't need to clear the whole castle. It's not like I need the web blade at all, considering I'm an arcane build. All of my weapons have been decided. I, I'd hope to strap old friend. Should you excite, I will teach you. Oh, I need your help. Her name is uh, blah, blah. Come on, let's do this. Go on. Now let me. Mm -hmm. Well, well, work of a can you give us well made. There is a tomb up near Millicent, yes. It's the uh, Celia hidden one. It's the one you need to go to for the Celia quest. Oh, what's her name? Mage ladies, Selina. I indeed. Will you give? I will reward. Millicent tended to a wretched. My flesh it is a cup. You are to quell, but never mind. I would rather than some. Would you mind? Well, that was easier. How much better is Rotten Wing Sword? Better. Okay, a twenty-two percent at max. Everything, even the night, not that I could ever. I'm with the needle, my destiny. It's all thanks. My name is Mina. I don't think you can farm rune arcs from rats anymore. I know back on like day one patch you could, but I feel like they patched it. Like after my let's play, I've not, like in both the walkthrough prep and the walkthrough, they were not dropping rune arcs for me. So I don't know if the Let's Play just had, like, insane dummy luck, or what happened. This would be the, uh, the run to do it with Arcane. Yeah, let's see. Drop it all. Alright, so I do this, I give her, I meet her up in, uh... I'm almost done her whole chain. All the, the parts of her chain that I need to do. Do I need to re-talk to Gowrie? I don't think so, right? I must, I must. No. Yeah, after the I must stay strong, I think she heads on up to Erd Tree Gazing Hill. And I meet her there, and I, she says, I wish I could fight with you. And I give her the prothesis. And then when we find her at Dominula, we can kill her. In truth, the Scarlet as such, though rather than realize I could have ate by giving me, it, I am in, I think it might be possible. If it might be possible, perhaps then. Reload, yes. I mean, we've already talked to her. Are we sure, are sure I have to talk to Gowrie still? And it takes me like two seconds, so let's go talk to him. We're killing her because I want her talisman. So the math, um, the math for it, let me find the, uh, thing, uh, to use decay for each tier attack, the prothesis is four, six, and eleven. Um, the Rotten Winged is... Let's see, the wiki doesn't even have it detailed. Oh no, here we go. The Rotten Winged is 6, 8, 13, whereas the other one is 4, 6, and 11. But because I need Dexterity... Picking up the, uh... <clears throat> picking up the... Prothesis... Yeah, God, I always fucking murder that world. Prosthesis... Picking up that will be better, because I won't need to put any points into dexterity, and this build needs 14 dex, and I think I start with 9. So I can just use that, hit my dexterity requirement, and that's 5 points I can put somewhere else. 
Which do we want to go up to Dominula? I mean, no, I guess we should. We should probably, we'll save that. We'll save that. Because if I do it now, I'd, I'd literally just be sprinting through all of Altus to Dominula. And don't we need to kill the, uh, you want to meet at a Cathedral of Dragon Communion? Uh, or just down at the to castle. Use the teleporter anyway. All right, I'll just I'll teleport so in. The, uh, meet you there. Yeah, you'll have to talk to the dude anyway. So. Oh just yeah, so I'll just I'll get you outside. We down. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, Kina's mask I won't need. That's that's three decks. I need like five. I'm pretty sure the champion starts with nine decks too, so. Six. So I got some way more golden seeds than I thought. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Champion stats, Elden Ring. Champion starts with uh, eight dexterity. So I'll need to only put one point into dex. I can save five stat points. Pick up a damage boost. We're looking good. Yeah, I grabbed her arm earlier. So I already gave her, gave her the arm. So now all we need is to find her and kill her. Because there's no point doing her whole quest. I mean, I guess I get a level 10, but like, I don't... Honestly, when this build's done, I'll probably end up just deleting this character. Cause it's like, I don't, you know. I already have an arcane build that I like. But I could always expect that to be a strength arcane if I wanted. I don't need two arcane builds. There's my final point in endurance. Damn, still heavy load? Fuck me. I'm fucking beefy. Let me see how far off I am. Oh, I'm literally one point off. Fuck. Well, I'm not going past 20, because that one point would be... That one point will be easily solved by, um... By an Erd Tree plus three. Hello, Alexander. I guess, yeah, I could put that on if I swap my gloves for now back to the old gloves. No, I'd have to go iron gauntlets. Yeah, no, ew, gross. Are you the best of Before we begin. But now. Chad Don. Oh, I know I could get away with an Erd Tree plus two, but that's super late game. And I don't want to give myself a bunch of super late game stuff while I'm in the early game because, you know, kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Like the start of the game, I had double Regalia and double Reduvia, but those are both like starter items that you can get very, like you can get both, both Reduvia and Regalia within like your first God, 15 minutes, 20 maybe, if no, you know where you're going. There's no boss fights that you actually have to do to kill them, or to get them. Well, Reduvia, Reduvia has a boss fight, doesn't it? But it's like a golem. Yeah, I suppose. The Regalia doesn't. The Regalia, you can just get it. Yeah. Alright, I'm at the teleporter. Sign's down. We need, need some of them rune arcs, because my health is... Uh... 
Let's see, what's my health at? Oh, it's at 33. Could be higher. Could, could, it could be higher. Could be a bit higher. Respec was a little intense, but I'll hit 40 bigger, then I'll go 10 in a faith. So I can use the Dragon Breaths with my whopping 75 FP. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Reduvi has the invade. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you could get both super easy. Alright, Chadon. Did you drop her? show up. No, I guess not. I guess you can't drop her. I guess you can't do it. Fucking rip. Here we go. Am I pulling the other summons in, or is, are we just two manning this? Up to you. It's two man it. Yeah. Well, except for maybe Alexander. Because Alexander's a Chad. He is. That's what you know. Did I, oh, fuck! Well. Rivers of Blood man comes along too, I guess. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, fuck. Stop this shit. Right, where's, where's this lady at? Fuck it. You can all come along. Let's beat his ass. <laughs> this is co-op, damn it. We're gonna co-op. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's get him, gang. Chase his ass down. Stop running. Your poor horse is dying under your weight. Ida hates this guy. I just realized he does crag blade on his swords. Uh, this is where we go run over the hill. Alexander, no. Isn't there a fresh Alexander sign here? Oh. Gotta heal before the rocks come. Oh god. Oh, there it is. Woo! First try Radon. First try Radon. Easy mode. Radon was easy. Super easy Radon. I still had all my flasks. It is kind of sad how much they nerfed him. Yeah, I miss old Radon. Pre pre patch. Pre-patch Radon was... Honestly, I think pre-patch Radon was harder than Millennia. I... Yeah. <laughs> you fought him with 20 Vigor. I, I think did. I did. Fair. Fair. Circumstantially, sure, but... Personally, I beat him on my fifth attempt. I did, did you... not beat Millennia on my fifth attempt. Did you use the summons? Um... I don't remember. I think the game bugged. I'm just stuck at an Elden Ring loading screen. Hmm. Just, I have the, the little Elden Ring symbol in the background. Just, yeah, this looks like a crash. Let's redo it. Gotta kill the uh, the duo fight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll kill them and then that'll clear out our 
Southern Kaled Adventures. Killed O'Neill. Killed Dragon Man. Killed Radon. Did Renala as well this stream? Yeah, some serious progress. Whooping some ass, ass, whooping ass. It's not, oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to. It's doing that thing where it's like, even though the game is done, it's the, the background. The process is still running. Yeah. I'm gonna scroll. Task through. manager and a, task. Yeah, there we go. Elden Ring, it's done. Redo it. Elden Ring literally looked at Radon and said, this is my world without you, bro, and then crashed. Basically. You want a 1v1 Dark Souls 3 soul level 59 on Xbox, bro? I <laughs> one hit after that and as such. <laughs> as luck would, if I could, and you know, who could expect? <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> who could expect? <laughs> just you wait. The glory of the clan and then a fall. I can't fathom my using living with. I don't think I need Radon's bow, so I'll just gobble, 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 gobble. And how many souls is it? It's like 20 or 40k, right? It's a good chunk. Definitely a nice chunk. Chunk that has brought me closer to my 40 vigor breakpoint. Hmm. Alright, uh, back to the chamber outside the plaza. It's so it's kind of cheeky that we can do Radon, and then when this is clear, you can just start back at the fucking bonfire and go straight into the next boss. Yeah. Like, I mean, they wanted to make it so that you, like, literally can't accidentally lock yourself out of a platinum. Well, at least in this one case. <laughs> Definitely do it later. Alright, I'm back at the red main castle. I'm ready for you. Alright, my sign is at the bottom of the steps right before the door. Or frog gate. Alexander turned into a pot. Alexander was always a pot. Alexander is the pot. Yeah, he, he is the pot. He is the pot man. No, this is... Tox is on a regular character. This is on a, a new character. Pops incoming! I got this. I'm gonna parry him. Ooh. Yes, I am. 
sit that ass down. Got the wake up roar. Here we go. I jumped into that. It's time to end this. Holy America, smash! I got still <laughs> launched him. I might grab my two points in faith just so I can use the dragon breaths finally. Touch grass. Yeah, I'm checking out Salt and Sacrifice. Rain, it's, our, it's like literally on the channel right now. The first episode went live this morning. The second episode went live like 45 minutes ago. So to answer your question, yes. I'm planning on checking out Salt and Sacrifice. And in fact... I already am checking out Salt and Sacrifice, and you can actually watch it right now, this second, right now. Go watch it. I'm one level short of having my faith requirement. Where can I get an easy level from? <laughs> Kill the dragons. We wrapping up there? Yeah, I'm just trying to think about a, uh, a level. Go down to the 4th Church of America. I think, is that a regular one that I can copy things with? Because I copy Radon's thing and then eat it. Um... Yes. I think that's a normal one. It's the one, the ones that are the bells underneath, you could do like any remembrance yeah. or something. Special Sanctum Gargoyle? Ah, uh, I'll be honest. I don't. I don't think that's, that's that, kind of a tough fight. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we could beat that right now. Pretty sure that's the strongest gargoyle in the game. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, Radon's worth 40,000 on his soul. Ooh. Someone explain how this co-op playthrough works. Is he just some attacks for boss fights? No, I summon him for entire zones. I'm not going to bring him to help me knock the stones off of the thingy, because that's just fucking silly, but... Pretty much... Not on horseback. We'll get him, yeah! Yeah, well, and I killed a Gil without him, because that's... It's stuff that we kind of just skipped, because it was easy. Strongest flying creature is the Hawk, plus five fire-breathing Hawks is nightmarish. I mean, I would argue the strongest flying creature is this thing called Deathbird, and it resides up in, uh... Snowy fuck you land. 
And that thing is harder than most of the bosses in the game. Is it nighttime? Because if it is, I got another boss I can kill. What do you think is more difficult as a boss when you like the moment that you run into them in game? Land CX or Dragon Lord? Wait, what was the the other one? Dragon Lord or Land CX? Uh, Dragon Lord, because Land CX still has a pretty similar move set. Um, Dragon Lord, on the other hand, has uh, instant kills. I mean, they're telegraphed, but they're still instant kills. Yeah. I suppose. Well. How do I get this guy to leave so I can fight the ball bearing hunter? Um. I think there you have go. to go to Volcano Manor. You want to get your ass beat, you big dumb bitch? Okay, I'll give you that one. Ba -da 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 -da. Mm, ba da 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 Chugging in your face, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, you're gonna shield slam me? You think you're fucking cute because you have a shield? Oh, guess what? I can do that too! Ba da 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 Oh! He stopped my da 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 does. Oh, okay, alright. Listen, you're just lucky that I don't get that advanced moveset that you do. Be so sick Boom! Bitch! Sit that ass on down. Sit that ass on down. Drop it to the ground. All right, I'm gonna go fight the one in Caleb now. <laughs> Give me them souls. <laughs> I do need more souls. Um, I'm gonna go do. I am gonna go get my Godfrey talisman because that's an Ur Jail anyway, and you can't come along. Sure. Which is also gonna be a best in slot for the setup that I'm going for. This build will probably be that, Erd Tree, Millicents, and then, um, Arsenal. They're not Arsenal, Alexander's. Well, I thought you were just doing some last couple solo things. I'm gonna head out. Yeah, we're just about there on wrap up. I'll just do this, do this ever jail. Have that for the next stream when we actually go into Altus proper. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we'll figure out when the next stream is. Yeah, I can do, uh, couldn't do them. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, see you. See you later. I am the bell bearing hunter, that is correct. And the new patch Godfrey Icon doesn't stack with Alexander Talisman anymore? Why? They're two completely different effects. Woo, boy. This might be a little sketchy.
Does Alexander seriously not work with uh, Godfrey anymore? Is there one of them is a charge effect? One of them is just a weapon artifact. Bitch. Oh, damn. That attempt didn't go too good. I need this though. This will increase my charge damage considerably. Which, by doing so, increases the amount of Zug Zug that I can do. I wasn't even greedy, I was dodging. I just mistimed my dodges all. that for greedy. Damn. Does he actually do that that combo in the boss fight? Using the weapon art on Stagger, I'm trying to save my FP. I've always killed him so fast in the actual boss fight that I've never seen that that axe combo before.
Miss time the third jump. <laughs> okay, putting that on right here. Oh, yeah, charged skills. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll start next stream at Erdtree Grazing Hill. Do Gelmir, Gelmir and uh, Altus, or Gelmir gets the wall. We're gonna do Altus to get me my thingy. But yeah, we, we're uh, we're looking pretty good. My dude is looking like he is gonna be whooping some ass with that setup. These are good. I need to find some. Well, I'll get sixes and sevens and shit going through uh, volcano land. Let me see if there's a six anywhere I can grab nearby. Sombering six. Uh, Sombering Sixes. Down in Mount Gelmir, right at the entrance. So I'll pick that up. A lot of that's like Noxtella and shit. I know there's a 7 there as well. I'll be able to get a 10 pretty soon, but... Anyway, this is a good spot to stop for now. Um, let me, real fast, just before we end. I want to... Pick up that point. And faith, or oh, hang on, how much did I need? I needed 15 to actually use these spells, right? Yeah, 15 across the board. Um, I think I'd rather, I'm gonna get this up to 40 first, and then I'll put five points into faith for my dragon stuff. That'll come pretty fast. And I'm going to also update you. There we go, beautiful. So yeah, we'll close things out here. Um, the plan right now, tomorrow, Tomorrow is going to be a PvP stream, most likely. Just messing around with the builds, doing some PvP. Um, maybe I'll even use this a little bit. I could invade with this and uh, get some rune arcs or something. That would be good. Get a couple rune arcs for continuing by killing people. Actually, actually let's see. Can, we, can I get one? I don't even have... I would need to get an invasion finger. I don't have one. I need to go through that whole thing. Hmm. 